Welcome to AmiCast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Christoph or Radzik. Hi, I'm a kid for Raspberry Pi, so let's take a look today at this uh, new release. Uh, from the uh, great package uh, for AmiKit. So the first what you need after uh, making the uh, image for your Raspberry Pi is uh, after boot is to resize your partition. Uh, like you see it's really easy. Uh, you start with the uh, start here uh, folder and then you resize your uh, partition uh, to, to use uh, whole um, SD card. Uh, it takes uh, some time but it's really mm, fast and it's uh, everything with graphical user uh, interface so just resize it like it's uh, shown and uh, then you are ready to make another uh, step uh, which will be uh, to connect uh, your Raspberry Pi uh, with AmiKit uh, to the internet. So uh, here you choose your, of course, uh, uh, Wi-Fi um, router. Uh, so just just select this and then type your password, and then you go online. It is important because uh, you will uh, you will be using this to update your AmiKit, uh, the Linux itself, and the AmiKit in the in the future. Uh, so this is. Uh, Simply like that, just type your password, then you are already online. And this is the <coughs> first uh, step or first uh, two, two steps that you need to, to use it uh, to, to start your uh, in installation of AmiKit. Then you must copy um, your uh, package, just uh, put your USB and copy it to uh, start here uh, required files uh, folder. Uh, and it depends from size. Uh, the new I mean, the newest uh, Amiga Forever package. Uh, it, it 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 is uh, quite a, a big file, uh, so it takes some time to to do it. But after this, you are uh, basically ready to to run your uh, AmiKit uh, installation. Uh, you can unplug uh, your USB drive, you don't need it anymore. Uh, so then you click on your desktop AmiKit and then, very important, you go to hard drive and CDs. You select the CD drive and then you select your uh, Amiga Forever uh, DVD um, file. Then you hit the start and uh, there will be some um, information that you are not uh, using uh, let's say official um, kickstart uh, but that doesn't matter it's step that is necessary and then uh, the AMI kit is uh, starting and uh, almost ready for installation uh, then you can you will get the notification that uh, you are welcome to AMI kit XE version and of course you are amazed then uh, the necessary Picasso 96 driver will be downloaded and then installed. Uh, and this is the error which you can get if you don't put this step, uh, your uh, ISO file in AmiKit like it shown to be before. So it's really important to, to put it there. If this is put it, then autom automatically the installation will continue. Uh, the really nice uh, copy window will uh, show you know, on which level you are. It took some, some let's say, minutes. Um, it's not so, so long. And then installation is um, almost um, ready. So just, just wait and uh, take a look when the magic is coming. Then you press the enter button to, to, to finish this. And then the next step is um, basically easy uh, just run uh, the ami kit again and the, then you will uh, then you will finish your installation uh, after after uh, after this so just hit the start and then you see the booting ami kit uh, the notification is coming then you select your uh, resolution and the best is uh, to pick your native resolution probably will be uh, something like uh, full HD 
or uh, is ready and then just hit the enter and uh, everything will be restarted again and then you are putting in your uh, amikit with the directory opus because it's a um, basic uh, setup for amikit if you would you like uh, to download additional uh, software just uh, confirm this and then it will be downloaded meanwhile it is uh, some extras that uh, will be uh, i think uh, quite nice to to have for example this uh, this um, picture uh, during the boot of uh, amikit okay so now amikit is ready you can take a look on the apps audios uh, like uh, before or like on the platforms you have a lot of uh, stuff already installed and pre-configured as well as the, the games and the uh, programs connected with the multimedia uh, like uh, graphics and uh, for example picture uh, perfect paint sorry uh, text editors and of course uh, the other stuff like uh, system when you can take a look on your system show config snap those uh, and so on and here in amikit you have a lot of other stuff like more files which is will be or future use it for uh, changing some stuff show p is this uh, icon that is switching you from amikit to the linux and another way and uh, because the rabbit hole is integrated um, you can um, change your preferences di direct from amikit desktop uh, and uh, you can as well use your um, browser from Amikit, so from Amiga OS, and this will be a modern browser, and uh, so you can use it for uh, everything, like for example uh, YouTube or basically um, working online. So uh, here I just um, put an um, Amiga podcast uh, website, so you will see everything is working. There is no problems like uh, with the classic Amiga browser, especially for classic. Um, uh, classic computers here you can even translate your browser like in modern operating systems now nowadays uh, so you can enjoy your um, internet uh, without changing the computer so it's really nice and uh, it's really good integrated Of course, you can always use your uh, classic Amiga uh, web browser, so, so classic Amiga experience like uh, AWIP. Uh, so it's, um, let's say it's good for classic Amiga uh, connected pages. Uh, like, uh, for example, uh, when you see on the favorites uh, toolbar, uh, like you can see um, uh, Amiga Org, uh, Aminet and uh, and so on. I mean, of course, it's really useful to to download your software on Amikit direct from um, Amiga web browser if you really uh, would like to uh, do it instead of the modern uh, Linux browser here. Of course, you can uh, as well use the Amiga Intable Intable Intable. Oh, oh my God, the Amiga NetServe version, version. And this this is too complicated. Or sorry for this. And uh, of course, uh, you can as well browse uh, Aminet and, and so on. So, it depends uh, from your uh, preferences, you can use this or another uh, stuff. And uh, another interesting uh, files there are not everything uh, HIY ready, but uh, no problem, it will be a com within next updates. Mm, so you can uh, use, for example, uh, Daily Tracker, the the module player, uh, which is uh, pre-configured like other rest of the software. So just uh, just try it and just just, just hit the button and uh, or hit the menu. In favorites, this is uh, some like always dynamic stuff. Uh, when you hit the uh, icon uh, Amikit, for example, you will see the mm, uh, movie. Uh, the demo movie about Amikit, but did, this is run, running in a VLC player, so it's another um, Amikit uh, feature, uh, a bit hold feature, uh, um, we, 
can say so you can um, see the movies or watch the movies uh, direct from Amikit with modern updated the the, bro uh, the player and as well um, like in the browser and of course the games like the Lux Galaga is um, a native Amiga app and you can just hit it and it's uh, of course working with no problems if uh, you would like to play uh, uh, Galaga or another stuff interesting um, feature here is the Amikit automatically see uh, uh, remove the check mark on uh, JIT uh, so this uh, JIT is making the the programs running faster but uh, some games or some uh, classic application will not good working with this on, on the Amiberry because it's everything based on Amiberry so it's automatically switching it off but when you quit the game or demo or whatever it will be automatically switched on on the JIT feature so uh, really nice and uh, it increases compact uh, compatibility with the um, old software or with the emulation basically B basically it's emulation of course the uh, typical demos like here is pro are provided uh, state of the art is uh, is working great so first um, for this first uh, take a look what you can get and what you get uh, got with the Amikit package is uh, is like that in downloads folders um, it's uh, a nice feature so thank you from the Yam that you can purchase the Amikit for uh, Pi or Pi version of Amikit of course the prefs and so on are available from workbench um, or direct um, access but you can um, uh, you can uh, change the preferences from the menu Amikit menu or from the uh, let's say desktop uh, and everything is integrated uh, really nice you can uh, edit your user startup sequence or, um, or other stuff that you if you would like to uh, to add some some stuff uh, or changes in your installation because this is of course the um, basic stuff for you uh, when you hit the welcome to Amikit uh, it will be the open it the HDMI file or in other options PDF in the browser another stuff uh, like I said before the director of Apple is integrated director of Apple 5 is integrated like always in Sami kit uh, with uh, uh, all features so it's really nice to use it uh, but um, uh, you can uh, uh, you can use another options uh, it will be shown in in, in a few seconds uh, the USB is in um, Amikit media folder so it's uh, really nice to know that you will find the USB pen drive uh, already there um, uh, you have as well the uh, let's say uh, the um, picture of uh, of uh, which is showing the whole uh, toolbar toology of the um, Amiki here mm, and um, there are uh, so basically it's really nice polish of and I like I said before if you would like to use director opus 4 it's no problem it's pre-configured here so it's a um, typical classic experience uh, but which is configured and working uh, really nice so you can uh, mix your experience from director opus 5 to the with direct or, or purpose for or you can even switch the the workbench desktop let's say like that from director opus uh, five to another stuff uh, there are games which they are uh, available here and they are pre-configured with uh, ai i jam so it's really nice to to have feature and of course in Morpheus like was mentioned before you can change your setup uh, of the um, graphic representation for Amiga OS here um, which is based on Amiga Forever it's really um, it's really, really important to have the Amiga Forever here for, for Amiga uh, Amikit uh, so you can switch the uh, the graphic user interface you can switch the size of interface 
you can uh, even uh, change some stuff like I said before uh, in the system in your uh, in magic user interface you can downgrade to the older one if you would like uh, you can switch your language it is really um, nice to have and a lot of language are supported um, in Amikit like always uh, you can even patch your Amiga forever if you would like some to have some not official patches if you would like to to do it it's not necessary but it's um, uh, but it's nice to have this uh, feature if somebody advanced user would like to use it um, in shutdown options um, there is a uh, option to rest uh, reset uh, amikit only amikit reboot your p so reboot your whole linux and shut down it so shut down your raspberry pi uh, so it's uh, auto auto magic and if you hit the boot mode uh, icon it will be um, switched to uh, direct boot ami kit instead of linux desktop so we do doing this now and uh, after this switching the mode you will be direct booted to ami kit desktop so it's uh, native native experience uh, you don't need to see your linux desktop and of course like i said before the director of 5 is pre-configured with everything uh, from uh, even from enable uh, jit to disabled and even you can quit for, uh, from amikit and then you will be quitted exactly to linux environment so it's uh, really something like native uh, solution and in linux you have a lot of options It's typical uh, linux uh, maybe not typical but this is um, linux installation so you can um, add some software you can update your linux sometimes it's really nice uh, to update your uh, installation of the linux on the basic system and uh, this is um, so basically it means you will even you will overclock your p if you want uh, so basically you can uh, mix your everyday experience with the amiga os uh, application and the and the linux application what i mean you can uh, use your ami kit with the amiga application and if you would like to use it with uh, library office there is no problem it will it will be no, uh, working natively from amikit desktop even you can add some software uh, like it's uh, here in the installation package you can add uh, firefox add blender uh, and, and so on i hope you can enjoy uh, with the amikit pi version uh, and i think this is so good and so well made that you should um, enjoy this experience uh, yourselves.